Cause I own So I got to get my hustle on I own Yo, what's good guys? It is your boy Jason JV saying welcome to another reaction video and actually real quick Okay, I want to make sure I hit the record button because uh I was a little quick to jump on uh, this one right here. And yes, yes, y'all, I am referring to my man Mises' remix of New World Order. Not to be confused with the, uh, you know, the other NWO, you know what I'm saying? With uh, with Hulk Hogan, Kevin Nash, and Scott Hall. Um, but anyway, uh, sorry, I got wrestling on the mind because the new WWE 2K22 game is about to drop soon. And I cannot wait. Um, but anyhow... Thank goodness my man decided to do a remix of this song, man, because I was debating as to whether or not I wanted to react to the original, um, mainly because I've been having some really, I mean, I, I'm just going to come right out and just say it, man. Um, I've been having, you know, some real tough luck in when it comes to react to Tom McDonald's music. Um, the dude did not, apparently he did not like my reaction to Balloons because, you know, I didn't agree with a lot of what he said in that song you know what i mean i mean i'm sorry i just was, wasn't feeling it you know what i mean and um after that reaction got claimed um my reaction for his song canceled also got manual claimed so i guess dude was trying to tell me tell me something with that so i mean if that don't scream sj dub much i mean i don't know what else does but anyway i'm sorry I don't mean to start off on, on, on a negative note here, but I mean, I, I, I just had to get that off my chest because that's been really eating at me for a long time, and I don't like to keep stuff bottled up, you know what I mean? I like to wear my heart on my sleeve and just, you know, express my feels and whatnot, you know what I mean? So anyway, um, I don't know. I'm debating. Maybe, maybe I'll still react to Tom and Acow's version of it. Uh, maybe I won't. I don't know. You know what? Better yet, I'll leave it up to y'all. If you guys want me to react to the original, let me know in the comment section down below. Um, if not, feel free to let me know that as well, okay? Uh, I want you guys to decide. Alright? I want this to be uh, very uh, fan-friendly, you know what I'm saying? Um, I was going to leave a poll up on the community post like I did with, with, with another potential reaction that I thought I was going to have to do. But thank goodness you guys spoke up and said no to that one. So I don't have to worry about that. But uh, yeah, so I'm asking y'all. If you want me to react to the original, let me know in the comment section down below. If not, let me know that as well. Let me know where you guys stand on all that and everything. Um, but anyway, let's go ahead and jump right into Mises' version of New World Order. Without further ado, like the hit hit. Go. <laughs> Hey, listen. The world been out of order, ain't nothing but it. New people glued to the news, but ain't nothing but it. True, so I never. Ever Yo, my man already coming hot out the gate with some hot facts. Talking about the world been out of been out of order, ain't nothing new about that. True, true corruption. You know what I'm saying? Wars, all these battles that have been going on throughout the eons, if you will. He's right, man. That's, that 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 shit ain't new. That's been going on for God only knows how long, man. Anyway, let's get back into this. Ever watch it, and neither should you. These news feeds feed you the flu, keeping you spooked. Here's a thought. Think exactly. The, the the news media is so caught up and worried about this this illness, this this, this flu, if you will, right? And and they're trying to use these uh, fear mongering tactics to force you to get this uh jab if you will and now look i'm not anti-jab all right so calm down youtube overlords all right i'm not here to spread any misinformation or nothing like that all right i'm not anti-jab my thing is look if you want to go get the jab because you feel like that is the best thing that you should do for yourself go get it if you believe that it's going to help you go get it okay no judgment all right it's your body it's your health it's your life. You do what you want with that. And all I ask is for you guys to respect my decision as to what I do with my body, my life, my health in return. Respect is a two-way street, man. Let's, let's uh, respect that, all right? Let's go. Think it's free, try some time. Cause you watch your mind if you're thinking these riots and crime. Talking about reparations, I don't know you a dime. I'm 
white skin and pay my I like what you said right here too talking about addressing the uh, these are uh, riots yeah you you you, you th throwing these these uh, riots and everything throwing this big old temper tantrum over some not shit you know what I'm saying and, and and then you expect people to just give you money give you money for what did you earn it no you don't work you don't eat you wanna you wanna play you gotta pay bruh let's get back into this. Bills, I had to go out and grind, and there it is. They convinced us we different. Can walk a mile in your shoes if I'm tripping by pigment. Stealing rice left or right, but we can't fight in Franklin because we'd rather die over pride than unite for existence. I used to battle. Yo, that is facts right there, man. My man does said we'd rather die over pride than try to. Oh, hold on, I don't want to min mince words. Pigment, stealing rice left or right, but we can't fight in Franklin because we'd rather die over pride than unite for existence. Okay, hold up. I need both earphones, cause. Killing rice left or right, but we can't fight in Franklin, cause we'd rather die over pride than unite for existence. So it sounds like you said we'd rather die over pride than unite for existence. I mean, he, he ain't wrong. He ain't wrong. I mean, bruh. Instead of us trying to, you know. How can I say this? You know what I mean? We, we need to learn how to love each other and how to respect each other, regardless of what our views are, what our values are, what our beliefs are. You know what I'm saying? We need to stop fighting over shit that is just, I'm sorry, it's non-existent. You know what I mean? We're fighting over color, over background, over which community has it the worst, when really no community does. And I know I'm going to get some idiots in the comments being like, man, we talking about, man, police and all this and that, you know, bad cops and all this and that. You had someone who looked like you make it to the White House. So don't tell me that you're oppressed. Don't tell me the white man's holding you down. When you're able to reach the White House, you have no excuse. So spare me. Battle rap, but now rap's battle of war and the war in black versus white. It's the rich versus the poor, so big corporate stayed open. Mom and pops closed doors, so who you really scared of? COVID, a new world. Ah. Yeah, I like what you said right there. What are you really afraid of? This, this illness or this potential new world order? Hmm? Hmm? Are you afraid of the, uh, the, uh, snifflies? The sniffle sniffles? Hmm? Or are you worried about the, the 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 quality of life that we're losing in this great country of ours? I'm at a point where I question what's the point in us having a military anymore when we keep giving up our rights? Hmm? When we keep surrendering our freedoms, why do we have a military? What what's the point? Think of all those men and women who put on that uniform, right? All those men and women who died in battle. What did they sacrifice everything for? Huh? And all their families who won't be able to see them and come home. Who won't be able to see them anymore. How do you think they feel? Knowing full well that the very people that their fallen loved ones died in battle for to protect their, 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 their rights and their freedom. How do you think they feel? When they when they see us just willy nilly giving up our rights, giving up our freedoms and shit, I don't know why more people don't don't think about these things. Let's go. Like what he said in that hook, man. Money don't make you God. Money don't give you all this this, this great power. M money don't make you bigger than, than you think you are. Especially when all that can be taken away from you. Just like that. It could be Thanos from you. You know what I mean? It could be in, in, in an instant. And then guess what? You be right down with the rest of us. 
All of us who have to, you know, work, have to grind just to, you know, scrape up a few dimes. Let's go. Think Biden a dictator, do me a favor. Try to buy food in Chicago without showing your papers. Not even hiding their behavior. Straight up showing their haters. They get caught breaking the rules and just laugh like makers. Bro, he talking about, man, you can't buy food anymore without showing your papers. I mean, it, it's getting to that point. If, if it hasn't gotten to that point yet, it's definitely getting there. I mean, you can't travel without showing your papers anymore. You have to prove that you're either jabbed or that you've been tested and you have negative results just to travel. It's sad. It's sad and it's heartbreaking. You know what I mean? Knowing that there was a time when we can just travel wherever we want, whenever we want, without having to show anything except for a flight ticket. Bruh. We say, not as we do it, so all I see. And y'all might be okay with that, but y'all ain't me. And y'all ain't free if y'all can't see that we can't speak out and shout that Biden needs to be in peace. You can't tell me that these mass mandates make any sense. It's like trying to stop mosquitoes with a chain link fence and a jab ain't any. He's right. You know what I mean? Yo, you can't tell me the, these masks these masks are, get, are getting the job done. It's like fighting off mosquitoes with a chain link fence because he's right. I mean, the way these masks are designed, if you are able to smell through that mask, best believe, best believe little driplets, little particles of that virus can go right through that mask as well. You know, uh, when I went to go see um, Spider-Man, um, was it No Way Home with my brother-in-law and my two nephews, we were all sitting in that theater masked up and because they had signs in their theater. If you had to wear a mask during, you know, your, your time in that theater to watch the movie or whatever, and it didn't matter doesn't matter your 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 uh, your your jab uh, what do they call it your jab status it, it it didn't matter you you had to be all masked up and the only and the only reason that you should not be wearing a mask is if well you're eating your popcorn or you're drinking your drink and whatever that's that's freaking sad that we can't even go to the movies without 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 a mask you know what i mean because and then your what's your other alternative oh sit at home and stream on disney plus you know what i'm saying or um what's the other one uh, hbo max and whatever other streaming services that they release movies on that's the only way you can watch a movie without wearing a mask being at home and streaming right crazy man and nobody wants to speak up nobody wants to say anything against this why because we're all scared some of us be, be, be too damn scared to say anything Yo, I like what he's talking about right here, man. He's talking about unity. Talking about, yo, we all need to stand up. We all need to raise up our voices. You know what I'm saying? He can't be the only one who does this, man. We all need need to stand up with our man Mises here. You know what I mean? And speak up against the, the this 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 authoritarian world that 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 we can very easily, very well be living in. You know what I mean? If we don't say nothing, I don't understand. We. We all have voices on this platform. We all have voices on the internet. 
And instead of going after the real enemy, we choose to fight and bicker over the stupid, the, the yeah, stupidest, the stupidest, littlest, pettiest shit over some not shit when there's far bigger problems occurring in the background. I don't know about y'all, but I'm done with the petty shit. I'm done with the, you know, the the uh, smaller shit that can be dealt with later. If there is, if that shit really is a problem, we can deal with that later. We have far bigger issues to worry about. And this is, and the time is for us to be united more so than ever. It's now. How about we get out of our little bubble? And start looking at what's really going on. Let's look at the bigger picture here. What's really going on. Whoa, what's he saying here? Some fire roll up my own work. And Tom, I don't know you, but I agree with your logic. And would you do a song with Thomas constantly in my comments? And I don't need a feature, homie. I'm gonna do me real. So it sounds like he's saying that, um, bruh, he talking to Tom right here. Some fire roll up my own work. He said he's looking to go viral off of his own work. Is that what he said? Let me wind it back more. Book first, we on the same team, but you ran that playbook first. Before you call this cloud chasing, better do your homework. I know Adam forever, plus some fire roll up my own work. Say so he knew Adam forever, so of course he's talking about Adam Calhoun. Yeah, him and Adam are boys, you know what I'm saying? Um, before, you know, people start pushing out the BS narrative and try to tell you that they're anything but. No, Mises and Acal are friends, and they've been friends for a long time. Like he said, he's, he's known Adam forever. You know what I mean? And they are they are boys. So let's not get that twisted up. Tom, I don't know you, but I agree with your logic. And would you do us? Said so, Tom, I don't know you, but I agree with you on on what? Tom, I don't know you, but I agree with your logic. And would you do us? So but I agree with your logic because I I think that's what he said, right? Like Tom, I don't know you, but I agree with your logic. Tom, I don't know you, but I agree with your logic. And would you do us? Someone Tom is constantly. So he said that, yo, I, I don't need a feature or anything to help, you know, spread the word. And, and you know, I don't need a feature and what? I don't need a feature. I'm going to do me regardless. You know what I'm saying? So, yo, he's not looking for a feature. He's not trying to clout chase or none of that noise. You know what I'm saying? It's just, yo, he, he has a voice and he's going to get, he's going to make sure his voice gets heard. You know what I'm saying? And regardless if he gets a feature or not, he's not asking for one. He said, he said himself, he, he doesn't need one. He's, he's not asking for one. So regardless if he gets one or not, he's still going to do him. You know what I mean? At the end of the day. And that's why I respect this dude. That's why I love this dude. You know, you know what I mean? Let's go. And he's right. They are both similar artists in, in the sense that they make similar types of music, especially when it comes to, you know, talking about our country and trying to, you know, keep the Constitution alive and everything. You know what I mean? So, although, yes, I do agree with, with I'm, on that side of things, I, I too agree with Tom's messages and everything. Um, and I agree with, of course, Mises as well. But in but in regards to Tom, uh, I, like, like I said, I, I do agree with him on, on that side of things. But then there's other things that Tom talks about that I don't agree with because I don't feel like he truly lives by some of the things that he says and that's just me that's just my opinion and my opinion alone you know what i'm saying and that's probably why I'm more than likely i'm probably not going to react to the original version of this song because i already know that's going to get claimed you know what i'm saying so it is what it is anyway Similar artists, shout out to 
For real, man. Hey, shout out to Burden, you know what I mean? Because Burden a real one, too, you know what I mean? I, I do enjoy a lot of Burden's music, and I appreciate, you know, a lot of the, the recent songs that Burden has been coming out with, because Burden has been spitting a lot of facts, you know what I'm saying? And, uh, and uh, people people trying try to censor him, too, for spitting out them facts. You know what I mean? And that's just wrong. Bruh. I like that right there, man. He shout out, he shouted out Burton, Rez, um, Bryson, and Tyson. You know what I'm saying? The MAGA boys. Bruh, let's go. Way back when. All right, y'all, so that was our boy Mises with his version of New World Order. I'm definitely matching that what I like, you know what I'm saying, because I really did like that one, and that is definitely going into the playlist. Let's go. Booyah. All right, y'all, so yeah, I'm with this 100%. I appreciate the message my man was putting out there, you know what I mean? Talking about, yo, we need to wake up, wise up, you know what I mean? And really focus on the things that truly matter. And that is what is going on in the background, you know what I'm saying? We need to start looking at these uh, political figures, you know what I'm saying? And start questioning their motives, you know what I mean? And uh, start questioning some of these uh, these uh, things that, that, that they, they be preaching, you know what I mean? I mean, hell, we had no problems doing that before with the previous administration. So why aren't we doing it now with this current administration? Come on, we know the, the uh, shit that this dude is talking about is a bunch of bullshit. So why aren't we, uh, you know, calling out his bullshit? Hmm. Hmm. Because, I'll tell you why. Because these political parties, they'd be no different than, than the freaking, you know, gangs out in the streets. You know what I'm saying? You ain't find the right colors. You must be the enemy. You know what I'm saying? You ain't a Democrat? Oh, you must be the enemy. You Oh, you ain't a Republican? Oh, you must be the enemy. Bruh. Anyway, and that's why my ass is independent and proud of it. Anyways, y'all. So, yeah. I'm with this one 100%. Y'all are too. Y'all know the drill. You know what to do with that link for the original video. That will be in the description down below. If you're with this reaction, y'all know what to do with that thumbs up down below. You know what to do with that comment section down below. And uh, don't forget, uh, below the original video link will be a link for the second channel. I have been uploading some new content on there. Um, been keeping up with some uh, game related news in regards to, you know, the WWE 2K22 video game that's coming out. And uh, don't forget, below the second channel link, I have instructions on how you can get a reaction request in. And I did update the uh, description. So now the first thing you see is for request, please read the description. Cause uh, that way, you know, I don't have to keep uh, <laughs> reminding people, you know what I'm saying? To, uh, to uh, how, how to get a, a request in, all right? So yeah, <clears throat> bruh, I know, I, I did it to myself. So, you know what I mean? I'm only frustrating myself, but anyway, um, below the instructions, don't forget we got the two store links, uh, Spring Merch Store, uh, pick up, you know, the latest JJV t-shirt, you know what I'm saying? That would be greatly appreciated. If you need a new hoodie, you can get this design in a hoodie. Uh, if you need coffee mugs, uh, bucket hat, with this design on it, trust me, it's available. It's the whole vibe line. Go check it out. You know what I'm saying? I got decals too. Got all kinds of cool shit up up on that that spring merch store so go hit it up you know what i mean it'd be greatly appreciated it would really help out the channel um don't forget my uh, affiliate link for cooler hawaii cbd products if you or someone you know um is currently using some cbd products you know what i'm saying hey or are interested in some cbd products maybe you're thinking about it go hit up cooler hawaii they got a bunch of cool stuff over there as well got a coupon code with that link too so yeah more than welcome to hit that up make sure you guys are using that coupon code with the Kula Hawaii link, that's the only way uh, that'll help out the channel as well um, as far as that link is concerned. And of course, if you can't support the channel financially, hey, no worries, not all good, no hard feels. I understand crazy times right now, so I get it. 
You are still helping out in the long run by simply making sure you are subscribed to this channel. If you're feeling what I'm doing over here, um, also don't forget to have your bell notifications set to all so you never miss an upload. Doesn't cost a single red cent, but still a big help nonetheless. Hey, especially if you're new here, of course. And of course, that goes for the yeah fan bam uh, and the folks that I rock with section. You know what I'm saying? Got my man DJ Alpha Tyler down there. You know what I mean? Both his channel links are down there. Shout out to my man DJ Alpha Tyler. I was at the ATRL that he just had the other night. And uh, <clears throat> also, I got Lunatics channel linked up down there. Uh, we have Jacksonville Joe. We got uh, Blazer Messiah. We have Jewel. We have Wee Scheme. We have Wildcard and a bunch more. So, yeah, go show the fan bam some love. We'll greatly appreciate it. And uh, I think I nailed everything. So, with all that being said, it is your boy, Jason JV. And so y'all take care. Have a blessed one. Catch y'all on the next one. All right. Peace.